Greetings and salutations. Thanks for clicking on the video. This video is just going to be me rambling on a little bit, giving you some of my thoughts on Facebook. I happened to be near the computer on July the 4th, and I caught Brian Lunduke's live stream. He made a big deal out of deleting his Facebook and Instagram accounts, and he showed everybody how to do it. The Linux community doesn't like Facebook at all, and I understand exactly why, and I sympathize with them. And every once in a great while, I get some blowback because I have Easy Linux on Facebook. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about my use of Facebook and how I have changed that lately. First off, I'm not a big fan of the privacy problems that go along with social networks. So I'm not defending Facebook if Facebook is doing things they ought not to do. I'm just telling you my position on it, so don't take it that way. But the Linux community, they find their own alternatives to things like Facebook. We have Telegram, and there is also Mastodon, which is a federated social network, and I think that is really awesome and totally cool. The only problem is, is that if you want to bring people to the community who are now not part of the community you have to go where they are and people are on Facebook and so therefore I think I'm gonna keep the Easy Linux Facebook page up and running for the foreseeable future because it does on occasion bring somebody into the Linux community that otherwise would not have even heard of it the YouTube videos are the biggest outreach, but other little social networks, they work as well. So people who are making the transition from a closed source reality like Windows or Mac, they come to Linux, they're learning more. This is a place where they can come and learn a little bit. And then as they learn more, if they decide they want to jump out of Facebook, then they can go right ahead and do so. So that is the reason why I have a an easy Linux Facebook page but I am not a Facebook fan I've had a Facebook account for years and recently I have very much curtailed my use of Facebook and I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a bit um, I just wanted to point out here that when you have a Facebook business page you can get it to show you what it looks like if you are a visitor and this is the view that you are seeing now but if you decide to do one of these pages what you're going to end up getting is the, when you really log in look at this this is just an endless thing of boost this advertise this spend money oh well that's kinda not as much as usual today usually there are three or four of those that pop up so yeah Facebook and their business pages uh, they're constantly asking you to give them money so that they can promote what you're doing on your business page. I guess there are people out there who give them the money. I don't. I just ignore those and don't even worry with them. But the Easy Linux Facebook page has been very successful. We've got a lot of likes here. And if somebody doesn't want to use Facebook and they want to move on to a more secure environment, then I'm I'm with you. Go ahead. That's all right. This is this is for new folks coming in, gang. It's no big deal. I recently locked down my personal Facebook account I did not delete it I cannot delete it if I want to run this page I must have a personal Facebook account Facebook does not have it set up where you can have a business page or something you know, like a public page like this unless you have a personal account that goes along with it so the solution to that for me was to go through and just dump pretty much everybody on my friends list except people who were very close family and friends that I consider to be like family so I'm down to like maybe 25 people now and my Facebook page is not publicly searchable I went through all the security options on the Facebook security page and turned everything on that I could think of that I thought would be useful so you can't seek me out on the web. You can't send me a friend request unless you are already a friend of a friend. That sort of thing. I'm, I might even turn that off at, at some point. Right now I wanted to leave it open because I deleted a lot of people. And if somebody came along and said, hey, I want to be your, 
you know, why did you delete me? I wanted to give them some opportunity, if it was a friend of a friend, to at least contact me, and then I could make the decision then. Facebook has changed so much in the last couple of years anyway that it, people don't use it the way they used to. A lot of the fun leaked out of it because there's a couple of things that happened. First of all, the election in 2016, there was so much political propaganda and garbage that was posted from all sides that it got to be really, really unpleasant and people were getting into political arguments on Facebook. I always thought of Facebook as being more like just fun. You know, I'm going to hear this is something cool to show you. But it got too serious and then there's just all kinds of weird stuff that started popping up. I mean, I started sitting down and looking at Facebook, my personal page, and I started seeing things like one guy that I was quote unquote friends with on his page he was posting pictures of dead people now I don't know whether he was doing it or whether his account was hacked it was one of those people that I don't really talk to and I never had anything to do with anyway and so I just got rid of it all I got rid of all those folks and some of those folks I've known for 20 30 years but a lot of them were people from my days in radio and I haven't set foot in a radio station in nearly 10 years and I don't think I'm gonna go back so if any of you guys are seeing that it wasn't personal like I don't like you it's just that I we don't have anything in common anymore there's nothing to talk about and when I some really good things happened when I did that I cut loose all of these people so now when I do go to my personal feed I'm actually seeing things from people that I want to see things from whereas before people would tell me all the time hey man I posted thus and such on Facebook did you see it no and I'd go back and that's because they how they jockey the news feed and all that stuff this isn't like a bulletin board where somebody posts something and then it shows up in the order that it was posted no they're doing all kinds of goofy stuff with it all the time and the other thing is the interface they constantly mess with the interface on Facebook it has become so unintuitive that to do simple things you have to go search on Google to find out how to do this or how to do that because it is extremely unintuitive and then there are all the ads and then there's the fact that Facebook is hanging on to big huge gobs of information about my life they still have those gobs of information but at least I've made it so that they're not publicly searchable anymore so you can't go through my timeline and see every public post I ever posted going back to like 2008 or whenever I started this stupid account so that's cool. The other thing that I have done is that I have deleted my accounts from a lot of social networks and websites that I no longer really have anything to do with. I think I got, I never did have Instagram. I've never had a Twitter account. I just don't care for Twitter. I mean, at one point I did, but I never used it. So I got rid of that a long time ago. Uh, but there were some like industry sites, radio industry things that I was hooked up with. And Probably the one that you'd recognize would be LinkedIn. And I that LinkedIn account did me no good whatsoever, and I've had it for like five years. And nobody ever contacted me through it. I never heard from anybody. Oh, yeah, a lot of people connected to me, mostly people who were in media from the radio days once again. And it's like, yeah, it's kind of cool, and thank you for the whatever, but you're not doing me any good at all, you know? It's none. I don't, it's not that I don't like you. It's just that I don't really care anymore what happens in radio. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, radio is a dead duck because I had said for years and years, starting back in the mid-90s, that the minute that we get internet in a car, the radio industry as we know it is dead. And I really honestly believe that. I think that's what's going on. I just don't have a great deal of interest in radio anymore. So there you go. Uh, but yeah, I, I shook loose a lot of those old accounts and got rid of that stuff, and I feel a lot better now. It's like you, you lift a burden off, and Facebook has actually become more fun because the people that are posting are my family, are my close friends. These are people that I do give a crap about what goes on in their lives because I will pick up a phone and talk to them. These are people I know, I see on a daily basis. And yeah, I had some far distant past high school friends and things like that that were on there but to tell you the truth they never talked to me they never responded to anything I posted uh, people don't use Facebook the way they used to anymore they are so gun shy of Facebook 
that they're not really sharing things the way they were at one point. Yes, people will like other people's stuff. People will share memes, play games, those sorts of things. But they're not, it's, all the personality is gone out of it because human nature, uh, people, this is a new medium and, and people didn't quite know how to do it. They didn't quite understand that what, what I post here can really be seen by everybody, really. And things that you would say to a small group of people or your friend next to you, you can't post on Facebook. You can't do this. And it got to a place where if you expressed any sort of political, religious view of any kind, you would be attacked. It was unbelievable. That's one of the things that I've done in the last, I guess, the last couple of years. I haven't posted anything of any real substance on Facebook. Very little. Because... First of all, I got tired of getting flamed. And second of all, who cares what I think? These people don't. So, you know, I think a lot of people have social accounts just to attack other people. They just want to sit back and pontificate on their own. So I don't care anymore. So we have Easy Linux that's still working through Facebook. There is another thing about Facebook that I wanted to talk a little bit about, and that is the JC's Phono Works group, which is still up and running and, and doing its thing and it's going uh, so uh, these are folks who were following me on YouTube years ago before I started doing things about Linux and I was doing things that had to do with audio mainly analog audio like turntables and things like that dipping back to my engineering days in radio and kind of sharing some stuff there. I don't do that anymore. Very very seldom do I ever talk about it on YouTube. I posted a review of a turntable not too long ago just for the, you know, fun of it. But uh, this is where people like that, we hang out and talk about stuff like that. So uh, a lot of the folks who were in the group I was personal friends with, and then I started the group, and now I'm not personal friends with them. So I put a post up here and said, look, I'm just changing the way I use Facebook. This isn't personal. So if you're thinking about scaling back your Facebook experience, uh, I know a lot of people, I mean a lot of dear friends now that don't use the service or have locked everything down because they're afraid of it. And so if you are one of those people that's worried about privacy, but you're not quite ready to do what Brian Lunduk did, which was just, I'm going to just delete it and get rid of it completely then go through those security settings and lock it down and make everything not publicly searchable and wean yourself off of it because uh, I, Brian said something that was really compelling. He said, if you continue to use it yourself, then other people will use it as well. If you stop using it, then other people will stop using it. Somebody's got to start somewhere. If you, I mean, if that's if you hate Facebook, some people are fine with it. I I have reservations about Facebook. I'm not quite ready to completely jump off the service entirely at this point, but that may be coming somewhere down the road. So, yeah, so that's my thoughts on Facebook. I think it, it really comes down to if you're concerned about your privacy, if you're concerned about having too much exposure on the web, then sit down and go through these accounts that you may have signed up for at one time or another and delete them. Go through and get rid of it get as much of your data off the web as possible uh, the the less stuff that's up there the less chance that you're going to get hacked and of course we do live in the 21st century the internet is a reality in everybody's life these days there are some things that you probably cannot back out of and I'm not advocating that you go live off the grid somewhere and don't use the internet I post YouTube videos that would be stupid but at the same time if you have old accounts that are laying around that you're not really interested in anymore, go ahead and remove them. Get as much of that crap off the web as possible and just kind of tighten up your attack vector a little bit uh, so that you can remain more secure. So that's my thoughts on Facebook. I just thought I would share that since there's been a lot of talk about that in the community lately and throw that out there. Very quick note before I wrap up this video. Very quick note because I think that in the coming weeks we're going to be talking a lot about this is Linux Mint 18.2 I want to tell you guys something uh, these folks at the Mint Foundation have knocked it out of the park this is a home run if that's what we say in the US it's a baseball reference you just nailed it these guys got it 18.2 is really awesome 
I have not run into any quote unquote major bugs in 18.2. I've had a few people who have told me that they've run across one little problem or another, but I'm seeing a lot of updates come in. So it looks like that the Mint team is really working on that and listening to people's feedback. So that's totally awesome. At this point, I have tried Linux Mint with the Cinnamon desktop in an upgrade. I have done a fresh install of Linux Mint Cinnamon. I have also done a fresh install of Linux Mint 18.2 XFCE and played around with that. That seems to work really, really well. That's like one of the best XFCE implementations I've seen in a long time. That works, well, 18.1 was awesome as well, but 18.2, they've just put the icing on the cake as far as I'm concerned. It works really, really well. So uh, if you are a kind of on the fence and wondering whether you should move on from 17.3 to 18.1 or eight, I mean to 18.2 if, if you want to upgrade this is a good release they, they've really nailed it so as long as you don't have any hardware issues with the kernel uh, then you should be all right there is one little tiny little thing that I did come across and that is in the upgrade information which is right here on the website how to upgrade so we can switch over here uh, they state quite clearly that they do not upgrade the kernel and that if you want to do a kernel upgrade you're gonna to have to do that yourself and then they also say that they don't upgrade the mint display manager to light DM which is the new one they have moved to uh, the light DM if you upgrade yes you will have to do that but if you upgrade and you already have the settings for the update manager set to update everything that comes in, it will move you to the latest 4.8 kernel. So that's going to do that automatically. It, you're going to see it come up and you're going to go, whoa, hold on a second. So I guess for this particular literature, they were talking about folks who have it set to a setting where it doesn't automatically upgrade the kernel and you have to do it manually. So if you have it set, to upgrade everything it's going to upgrade to the latest kernel I went ahead and let it do it and I didn't have any problems with it so uh, since then I've done a fresh install which was really quite easy to do so I just I, I essentially just installed 18.2 um, right over top of 18.2 and then just installed the programs I needed it took I don't know 20 minutes to do it's no big deal so that's what we're running on here and now. All right, gang, that's it for this little video. Uh, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Just wanted to share some of my thoughts about Facebook and kind of put it out there because it's a hot topic right now. A lot of people are talking about it in the computing and Linux world. Figured I'd share it. So if you do use Facebook, check out Easy Linux on Facebook. Give it a like if you would, please. If you don't use Facebook, that's fine. You can contact me through easylinux.com directly or uh, you can also send me a comment on the message here on YouTube and we're not going away from YouTube anytime soon either and do check out freedompenguin.com for lots of really cool stories about Linux I haven't contributed anything there in quite a while I know but I haven't had I don't know I might have to come up with something or sooner or later I'm gonna I can't say something like from contributors such as myself. If I'm not contributing, then I'm not a contributor, you know what I mean? But anyway, check out freedompenguin.com. Links in the description to this video. We will talk again soon.